Hey guys, it's Char, and welcome back to Get to Work. We are right back where we left off. Ashlyn was getting yelled at by her dad for coming in at the very early hours of 6 a.m. And they are having a little bit of a standoff right now. And Ashlyn is just giving him this crazy look. But right now, she is feeling very angry from the conversation. And Angel is not feeling too happy about it either. She's really tired, very hungry. And she is feeling very insane right now. Ubiga, Whipna, Choba Dog, where is my hot dog? Because ya girl is hungry. <laughs> and she is super excited about her first kiss. And she is, you know, just adding something on her notch of belts of just chaos and destruction in her father's life but we are about ready to go to work with angel who has to sadly work on the weekend so once we get to the lot guys i will meet you all when we get there all righty guys so we have finally arrived to work once again and it looks like drake went off to work as well so we are just here with um angel and he wants to go ahead and apparently clean up around the place because you know certain people won't name any names <laughs> walter <laughs> who just cannot seem to clean up and how in the world did trash get over here anyway like seriously did they just spawn on a floor like okay sure i have not um replaced the hospital yet because i just wasn't sure exactly um how I was feeling about um, the ones that I downloaded already. So we have to go ahead and greet three patients. So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. So is he not the same guy that was here before? Um, Walter Booker. I don't think he is. But I don't know. I don't remember that name. Wasn't the other guy like Laron or something like that? I don't know. So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to this girl over here. Um, her name is Jasmine Mohajer. I think she was here the last time. Let's stop talking to him though, so we can just hurry up and get on with this. Like seriously, I don't understand why they have like freaking set us up at the bottom. Like we have worked on ships for months at a time like doing all this tedious nonsense like why so let's go ahead and discuss um general health really quickly and a patient must be diagnosed with the appropriate illness i'm going to click on this anyway just because i just want to i just want to do something so we gave her some pills and oh <laughs> the medication um treatment for kaylee lowry was successful and her illness was treated awesome so that didn't take no time at all but we're going to hurry up with this because honestly i just want this work day to be over because we're honestly not even doing anything and look who is here oh my 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 look who we have here is this not gene i think you have found yourself in the wrong place sir because you need to be admitted into the asylum like seriously um like for real i don't even know what so we know him already but we're going to um apparently mop up a puddle like so i'm just on a wild goose chase um but why don't we go ahead and just admit these people really quickly why not so it's just like the people are just rolling in here you just don't have the time i don't Gene, like seriously, we don't have time to discuss our business life with you. Like, he is just always trying to hold a conversation, isn't he? Okay, so let's hurry up and go ahead and admit these people on over. And I want to go ahead and admit Lauren too, because she's super cute. So I see there's a puddle over here. So let's go ahead and mop that up really quickly. So we have finally basically finished our work day and Angel is feeling very, very painful from all of that walking around and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> but it looks like um, it says Angel did an adequate job today. Preventative care is the best course. So he needs to step up. Up. Angel has been promoted to orderly. He will now make an additional five per hour for a grand total of 23. He has also received the following bonus, 192 simoleons, new clothes, Dr. Xavier Ray's display, 
Not So Blind eye chart. And his next shift is Sunday at 7 a.m. So we're going to go on back to the house. So once we get to the lot, guys, I will meet you all when we get there. So we are back home with Angel, and he is feeling super focused from his day on the job. So it says, research health info. Angel has renewed focus on his career after reading up on the latest advances in medical care. And he also has his moving on up moolet from his promotion as well. He's still feeling a little bit sad though. And I mean, it's definitely going to be very hard for him to get over the loss of his wife and you know him taking care of not only his kids but now his nephew and his brother is definitely you know very very stressful for him so anyways we did get some things from our promotion so let's go ahead and take a look at that shall we so here we have this really freaking huge um little like bone like x-ray machine kind of thing which is super cool um how much is this this costs like 370 simoleons so we might definitely have to keep that in mind as well so we also have this cute little chart here um i don't know if i'll have any use for these items to be completely honest but i'll just leave them in the inventory for now i swear i have not played this game <laughs> <laughs> in a couple days I don't even know what I'm doing um how about we not and um let's see so he is really hungry so why don't we just go here and give him a quick meal this place is a hot freaking mess like obviously this is what happens when we leave Ashlyn in charge like seriously you can never go wrong with a a real babysitter like seriously Ashlyn good job good job the kids have left a bowls of cereal all over the freaking house like congratulations like you're top-notch like no <laughs> um why don't you go here and clean up these cereal bowls please and thank you um my dearest Jamie please clean that up you just you had it right in your hands and you just put it down and she was like dad's home never mind like forget it like poor angel like, seriously he works too hard he works way too hard so it says here that she wants to be funny with Ashlyn so let's go ahead and do that so nope that's friendly Let's go over here and tell her a goofy story. Let's check on Dax. So he's feeling pretty confident as usual. He gets that from his dad for sure. So once Ashlyn is done doing all of that stuff, we are going to... Okay, well, she is feeling pretty hungry, but let's go and see if we can maybe hang out with um, Terrell. But let's go ahead and see where we would like to go on our date with the boo. <laughs> Um, so how about we just go to this Hillside Highlands bar? So we finally arrived and Ashlyn decided to go ahead and change her clothes because she does not want to, um, have Terrell catch on to the fact that she is indeed a teenager. So she is definitely dressing a little bit grown right now. But let's see, where did he go actually? So he basically just left us. Like, can you... Can you, can you come over here and talk to your date? Like, seriously, can we um, express our admiration? So, I mean, it's already starting off to a very bad date with Terrell. Just kind of leaving her outside and talking to his friends over here, his homies. So, we can already see that he kind of has a little bit of a childish nature in him. So, we're going to go ahead and just kind of chat with him flirt a little bit as well and they want both of us to become very playful but I'll deal with that a little bit later so why don't we go ahead and ask him about his day and there is Jean you know <laughs> always where we are as usual oh oh goodness so it looks like these two are not getting along like seriously oh my goodness like <laughs> oh my gosh so this is probably maybe the worst place to have a date at and you're blocking my vision like seriously can you not <laughs> but um why don't we go over here and have a deep conversation like can we go somewhere else please like seriously like there are too many dudes here i don't understand why terrell decided to like invite his friends over like did you not know this was a date or were you just doing this on purpose and you know like poor Ashlyn she's really really young like she doesn't have that mother figure to help her out and to help her make the better decisions in life and she might just be a little naive like Terrell may not be 
um the best guy that she should be dealing with i mean he's a lot older and her dad would not even approve of this situation anyway so let's go here and flirt with him and let's go ahead and maybe discuss some interests and get to know him better and see what it is that they might have in common <laughs> and have a deep conversation as well let's go ahead and chat a couple more times just to get that main um wish out the way let's go and maybe um okay so we completed it so now we have to go ahead and um just kind of basically flirt it up with him and i really don't know if you know terrell is going to be in this situation for the long haul i mean she's not really taking it serious right now but she definitely is confiding in him i mean with her dad kind of hovering right now over her constant every single move it's causing her to really kind of push him away and she's just kind of you know just putting all of her feelings and her emotions and her love into someone who may not be the right fit for her especially someone who is a lot older um why don't we go ahead and see what other interactions we can do here so why don't we caress his cheek and I mean, I really need you to feel a lot better about this situation, Ashley. Like, seriously, she's just so... She's, I feel like she's kind of needy in a way. You know, she really wants that attention, but she doesn't want it from her father. So he's giving us a compliment right now, which is great. And she loves it. Like, she loves that attention. And she wants more of that from him. So why don't we go ahead and hold his hands as well. And maybe give him a, another seductive whisper. Maybe we should end this date a little bit early. I'm thinking so. So why don't we go ahead and end it early and, you know, basically Terrell is, you know, kind of wondering if Ashlyn would like to maybe hang out with him at his place. So we're going to say yes. So he's asking her that right now, you know, it's too many bugs out here. So why don't we just go back to maybe a place that's a little bit more enclosed, like my house <laughs> so i'm not exactly sure where he lives at i'm um, i kind of remember kind of don't okay okay so he lives here so once we get to his lot guys i will meet you all once we get there so he's going to go ahead and give her a kiss and you know i guess invite her inside so she wants to go ahead and have herself a quick meal so i'm going to speed on through and allow her to do so he is pretty hungry as well and I don't know if he's going to cook for us or if he's cooking for himself, but we shall definitely see for sure. So we're just going to speed on through just a little bit. You seriously cannot cook yourself some freaking grilled cheese. She is showing off her outfit to him once again and kind of trying to delay the moment, you know? I mean, she she's never had woohoo before. And I mean, this is kind of basically what this situation seems to be leading up to, to be completely honest. So once she finishes eating her food, we're going to go over here and do another pickup line and guess we should blow him a kiss a little bit. And we might as well just go for the big shebang and do the thing. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and do that and you know like he's just like you know babe we should definitely get on out of here and go somewhere a little bit more comfortable and you know why don't you just get out of those clothes and just go somewhere that's a little bit more relaxing they're kind of doing a little weird stomp up the steps like <laughs> so this house is super huge i mean maybe there's a story with him too you know maybe you know, his parents weren't around and maybe he passed away. Maybe he earned this house somehow. Maybe this was his old house, you know? Like, I mean, maybe he has a, a brother or sister somewhere. This might have been his old room. I have no idea. So Ashlyn just lost her woohoo genity for the first time. And look who is just fast asleep. Like, seriously, poor Ashlyn is just going to go ahead and watch TV. She didn't put on her regular clothes but we're actually just going to go back home before you know like her dad just kind of suspects 
you know, that she's just going out and having a wild night. But um, anyways, once we get back to the house, guys, I will go ahead and meet you all when we get there. So Ashlyn comes back home in her regular clothes right in time for Angel to come outside and take out the trash. Like, seriously, she is such a naughty girl. Like, uh. <laughs> so I'm just going to have her take a cold shower because she doesn't want her dad to you know suspect that you know her her makeup is a little bit smeared and her hair is a little bit in a mess or a tussle <laughs> seriously she is changing her clothes a million times she obviously feels completely dirty from doing what she did but anyways i'm going to see if she needs to finish her homework and oh do makeup homework that's new so we're going to have her do her makeup homework but other than that everybody is just going to basically get themselves situated and head on off to sleep do not stab nobody with those knives but anyways i thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and until my next video i will see you guys all later